Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a mixing tip and trick tutorial video on ADSR. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reduce and almost remove noise from an electric guitar recording. So even if you record into like an amp sim or a Line 6 Pod HD or a Line 6 Helix like I do, you can still get noise. There are three different places in the recording chain of an electric guitar where you can commonly experience noise. The first one's going to be the guitar itself. It's, if it's a single coil guitar like a Telecaster or a Stratocaster, it's going to hum a little bit. Then if you go into an amp, it's definitely going to hum. And there's also going to be like a little high-pitched hiss or air that's just the, basically it's the sound of the speaker from the amp being on. Now you can also, if you're miking up a amp, there's a fourth place that you could experience noise, which would be the room itself, maybe like an AC or a heater or just not a perfectly treated room. So there's a lot of different potential for noise coming into an electric guitar recording. Now, if you're recording like real crunchy, distorted guitars, it doesn't matter. Ergo, rock. Now, if our example, a good example would be rock, not ergo, but if you're recording clean guitars, maybe in a pop, EDM sort of situation, you might want to remove some of that noise. I'm going to show you how right now. So I have this pink track right here is the electric guitar track. Let me mute the other things. It's just kick and drums. So what I did was I recorded just the noise of the track, and it's looped over here. And I'm going to crank this up and turn the mic off, and we're going to listen to it. All right, so as you could hear at NC when I pulled up the multimeter, there's a bunch of noise covering a bunch of frequencies. And if if you have multiple guitar tracks, and this is really, if it's, it'll be even more prevalent if you're recording through an actual amp and a mic, but that's going to mask some frequencies in your mix for sure. So again, removing this can be really helpful. Now, I, I like to record into a Line 6 HD or a Line 6 Helix. Now, those are, are such in-depth amp modeling uh, hardware units that they actually do model the hum and it bugs me because I'm always removing it But let's listen to this guitar here. I, I turned it back down Let's listen to it with these drums in just so we can get the feel for what's going on here All right, so that's what we're working with. Now, the first thing that you should do on any electric guitar track, let's say you're an engineer, you're recording your friend's band, you're recording your own electric guitar, is throw on a noise gate, literally the first thing. So if I was recording into my Line 6 Pod HD or my Helix, the first thing I would do is have a noise gate on. A noise gate is basically going to set this threshold where it's going to stop any noise that's happening underneath that threshold. So for instance, I have a noise gate pulled up in Logic. And we're going to go and just solo and loop that uh, little section of noise that I recorded, that dead static from the guitar uh, plugin or the guitar preset that I used on my Line 6 Pod HD. Okay, now, now let's turn on. You can clearly hear it. I'll crank it up. Right Now let's turn on the noise gate. It's off. So now if I go back to uh, here, though, and I play it, I'm going to turn it down so we don't kill our ears, though. So it's playing the guitar. Let's go back to the noise gate. Again, nothing. Uh, go back to the guitar and you'll hear it. So it's going to remove in any dead spaces, maybe you have a rest, that sort of stuff. It'll remove that, that noise, that hiss or that hum. Now, depending on how loud it is, if you have really loud hum, you may not want to remove all of it with the noise gate. You might want to remove some of it and then try to isolate other areas of it with equalization. But this is simple, just messing around with it until you hear it go away as much as you want. So for instance, if we crank this up again, if I turn the threshold down to like negative 75, 76, we hear it. Negative 67 starts to remove that hum. So let's turn it down again. Can't hear it. So now we won't be removing some of the quieter elements of our guitar. Right? It's pretty easy to do. So first, first thing is just set your noise gate. Now the second thing you're going to want to do is hum. Hum is going to be more of a low frequency issue than a high frequency issue. Well, we're removing a little bit of both with the noise gate, unless your hum is out of control or your speaker hiss is out of control. So the next thing you can do 
is, let me get the guitar on the screen here, is you can load up an equalizer, and especially with a, with a rhythm guitar part, or especially a lead guitar part, you don't need frequencies down on the low end. It's just redundant. So let's turn on the analyzer for this. Okay, so I'm just going to cut some frequencies here, and we're going to do about a 48, uh, 48 decibels per octave cut here, just about 100. Now what that's doing, that's removing some of the hum. So we've taken out some of the overall noise under a certain threshold with the noise gate. I then use the equalizer to take out some of the hum. Now there's this kind of like wild card thing you can do. Uh, it's a fairly expensive plugin, but it's made by Waves. You can get it in a couple bundles. Waves makes a couple X noise, X hum. Uh, they have another one that I'm blanking on the name right now, but they remove noise or artifacts. And this one can be huge. Uh, this one saved me a couple times when I was mixing other people's electric guitar who are, uh, they're kind of purists, and I had to mix, I was mixing their track, or they were a client, and they recorded through an amplifier, and there was so much noise. So uh, I use this to reduce some of the some of the other noise. Now, we're using a noise gate already, so there's not going to be a lot. So I'm going to solo this and show you what I mean. <laughs> So with X noise, basically what it's doing is that you can have it learn the noise profile, which is why I recorded this empty dead air. So let's take the noise gate and the channel EQ off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loop this and hit learn. So we just had the X noise plugin learn the profile, which is this white section here. So now if we start to play the guitar again, and I'll mute the other stuff so we're not hearing that. You can then go and listen to the difference of what it's reducing, and we can turn up the amount it's reduced. So you probably can't hear that that well because it's really quiet, but it is reducing some. So let's turn the threshold up so we can actually hear this. So that's what it would be removing, but I've turned it up just so you can hear it. So let's turn the threshold back down. Let's turn the reduction back down, and let's play the audio again. Let's turn the actual track down again. Okay, so let's turn on the noise gate one more time, and we will actually turn on the equalizer as well. So now we're doing all three. Now, the reason why you want the noise gate happening first, even though you're doing the X noise, is let's have the X noise do as little work as we need it to because it can actually change the sound of, of the whole track. So let's listen to this. <laughs> So let's keep the X noise on, and now let's go. We're going to keep all three on, and we're going to go to this dead space. We're not going to hear anything right now. Right, I cranked it up. It's just dead silent. So now that the guitar track is cleaned up, this is when I would personally start to throw things like amp sims on or throw on an equalizer to boost certain frequencies. Because if we go back in time to where uh, a few minutes ago where we had that high pitch hiss in the hum and we start boosting maybe like the the, the high mids and the highs, we're gonna be we're gonna be basically making those problem frequencies louder. So clean it up first by using a noise gate, maybe an equalizer to get rid of hum by cutting out the lows, and then you can use a plugin maybe like Waves X Noise to further reduce the noise. And your guitar track should be sounding nice and clean. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.